Ah, this is not, was this your idea? What? This is dumb. I can't even hit the. <laughs> Hi there. How, how are you today? Uh, these are just some ideas that I think need to go away. But I'm glad you're here. This is Uncle Brian and what's his face? We're still looking for a name. We've told stories around the world to many boys and girls and I'm so glad you're here with me today for another story called Failure. And this story comes from a boy a long time ago. His name was Richard. And Richard was working really hard. Not your name. No, your name is not Richard. No, no, not yet. In fact, remember, boys and girls, we're waiting to have a vote. We've got some votes that have come in. Georgie, Finnegan, Oliver, Rango, Otom, they're all getting voted for. Please help us choose a good name for this guy so I can actually call him by name from now on. But until then, let me tell you about Richard. Richard had been working hard for weeks. Have you ever done a project that took weeks? He was bending the little metal strips. He was pulling them together. He was covering it with thin paper, and he had gotten this beautiful looking balloon that was finished. Let me show you a picture here. Can you see it here? There we go, a nice little balloon picture. Yeah, so he had just made this balloon, and he was getting ready to tell all of his friends to come and watch, because he was going to have it go up in the air. And you say, how can it go up in the air? Well, because the type of balloon it was was thin metal, and it had thin paper around it that had been glued on there and got on there. And the plan was to put a little bit, to light a little bit of cotton on the bottom. And as the heated air would fill up the balloon, then the balloon would fly. And so Richard had all of his friends there. This was before Facebook. This is before he could be on social media. He had told his friends and they had come out of their houses and they were all standing around looking at this balloon and saying, ooh, ah, ooh, ooh. And the guy was saying, how'd you do that? And Richard took his time to explain it all. He was feeling really proud of himself. And it came time, finally, when no more questions. And they said, let's see it fly. Come on, Richard, you can do it. And so very carefully, he got up underneath, got underneath there where it was all set up. And he lit the cotton ball with a, a, of a match. And the fire started, and sure enough, the balloon began to go up. Because as the hot air, as the air was heated, it, the hot air rises compared to the rest of the air. And so the balloon got up higher and higher. And Richard was, oh, it's working, it's working, it's working. And the others were so surprised. And there may be a nice little girl that he was wondering about. She was sitting there with her mouth hanging open oh, as it went up higher and higher. But then all of a sudden, there was a burst of wind, and the wind blew the flame a little bit over this way as it's going up the balloon, and the flame touched the paper. And all of a sudden, the flame began to burn the paper, and very quickly, and the balloon fell to the ground, Fire had destroyed all the paper in a big old burst of flames, and there it was on the ground. And all the friends were like, oh, oh. And Richard, oh, Richard was embarrassed, humiliated. He just ran home. He didn't even say anything to his friends. He ran home, ran upstairs into the bedroom and slammed the door and laid on his bed. And he just, oh, and he started making noise. I made it. And he's... And he stopped there, and his dad had heard him come running in the house. And so his father went upstairs, and he knocked gently on the door. Richard, may I come in? Oh, go ahead, Dad. I'm nothing. I'm such a failure. I'll never do anything like that again. And Dad walked in. I said, Richard, what happened, son? And Richard said, Dad, I spent all that time, and I made the balloon, and then it just burned right in front of all my friends. He says, oh, okay, well, that's all right. Richard says, what do you mean that's all right? It's not all right. He says, of course it's all right. Do you realize, son, that failure is incredibly important? 
Huh? What do you mean failure? Oh, yes. Everyone wants to fail and succeed. Only those who fail greatly can ever succeed greatly. That's a special quote from Robert Kennedy. And, 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 and Richard's like, what do you mean, Dad? He says, yes. He said, now you have something that you can put into your rubbish heap. He said, rubbish heap? Failure? What do you mean? I don't understand, Dad. He says, oh, come on, son. See, look at the light bulb. Thank you for your help. My wonderful assistant. Can you hand that to me? That's probably not a good idea. Okay. He said, look up, look up in the light. Who made that? He said, uh, I think uh, the first light bulb was produced by Thomas Edison. He said, that's right. How many times do you think Thomas Edison tried on this? Well, I don't know, Dad. Did he work three or four weeks on it also? <laughs> and the dad laughs and no. <laughs> he failed more than a thousand times. A thousand times? That's right. In fact, one time, a, a reporter came up and said, Edison, don't you feel like a failure? You have failed a thousand times to be able to produce this thing. And Edison said, oh, no, no, I'm not a failure. Building a light bulb just took a thousand steps. <laughs> No, but he kept trying over and over again. Maybe you guys don't think about Edison too much. But you know what? If you go to some of his places, they have kept the rubbish heap so you could see the evidences of the things that he had done wrong and he kept. And each time he learned and got, be got better and better. And so Richard began thinking about that and says, really, Dad? He said, yes. Now you need to learn from your mistake Pick yourself back up and try, try again. And this time, make it better. And Richard thought, really? You know, boys and girls, that's what Richard did. He continued to try. Now, I've got two little quiz questions for you. And you may have to have your parents help you with this one here. Think of someone who has failed a lot and yet still succeeded. You gotta pick yourself up. In fact, President Lincoln is reported to have said, I'm not so concerned that you've fallen, but that you rise. Get back up, try harder, learn from every mistake. Never waste a good failure, never. So I've got two people, I want you to guess who they are, okay? One of these persons has missed baskets more than 9,000 times. Can you imagine? 9,000 shots. That's worse than me. <laughs> well, not exactly. He's lost more than 300 games, and 26 times the coach has left the game into his hands, and he missed, and they lost the game. 26 times. He, he has failed over and over again. Do you know who that person is? Michael Jordan, the basketball phenomenal star. He kept trying over and over again. How about this one? This person could not even speak before the age of four. He just ran around the world going, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, making noises. Couldn't speak. Couldn't read until he was seven years old. In fact, he was kicked out of schools. His teachers came and told his parents, we think that he is socially unable to function. He's not going to be very smart. Do you know who that person was? He eventually learned how to read. He eventually learned how to do some math. His name was Albert Einstein. Do you know who he is? He had even worse hair than I do right now during the COVID-19 uh, cloistering here in the house. I can't get my hair cut. But Einstein, boom, he had all kinds of wacky hair. And it had a brilliant mind because he didn't give up and he didn't listen to the other people telling him to stop. And boys and girls, I hope right now that you're reminded to never give up too. You know, the Bible actually teaches that you, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. There is no one else in the world like you. And God wants to see you try and try again and be the best that you can be. So don't ever give up. Remember Richard, remember his fiery balloon, and remember the rubbish heap of Edison, and keep going, keep trying, you can do it. I believe in you. And don't forget, send me your votes here. We got to give this guy a name, okay? So let the light bulb go on and send me a name.